Hey kids, welcome to Blueprints. This eight week series was created to do as a family at home. Each week includes a family lesson that parents can do with both preschool and primary kids, as well as a preschool video and a primary video that will help kids learn to identify their emotions and respond to them in the way God wants. They will see how to use the blueprint of God's word to manage their feelings by following three steps. Stopping to name the emotion they feel, looking at what is going on inside and around them to cause them to feel that way, and listening to what God says about that feeling. Hey kids, my name's Tim and I'm visiting with you today and I have a question for you. What's one of your greatest talents? Would you feel scared or nervous to perform your talent on a big stage? The first time I performed at church on the big stage, I was so nervous, I had butterflies in my tummy, and I was so afraid to play the drums in front of everyone. Even though I may have missed a beat or hit the crash cymbal at the wrong time, I knew that if I tried my best and gave it a go, that's all that mattered. There might be times where we feel scared that we won't be perfect, but here's what you need to know today. So say it after me. When I'm scared, God is with me. When I'm scared, God is with me. Hey everyone, my name is Telly Toolbox, and I'm so glad you're here to be Builder Buddies with me today. We work hard to help all of our friends. Before we can get to work, we have to make sure we're dressed and ready. Everyone put on your hard hat and buckle on your tool belts. Now that you're dressed, everyone stand up to sing a song. Guess what? God loves you and he wants to be your friend. Guess what? God loves you and he wants to be, he wants to be your friend. You can sit back down. Builder Buddies, it seems that we have a problem on the job site today. Let's take a look. Oh no! It looks like Tractor Joy's feelings may be getting out of control. Joy needs to stop and name what she is feeling. Builder Buddies, do you think Joy looks scared or happy? Scared! Joy does look scared. Now that Joy has stopped and named what she is feeling, it's time to look around and see what is making her feel that way. Builder Buddies, do you see anything that could be making Joy feel scared? I think I see it. Do you? It looks like the sky is getting darker because a thunderstorm is coming towards the construction site. 
Joy must be scared of storms. Now that we've helped Joy stop to name her feelings and look around to see what is making her feel that way, it's time to listen. Builder Buddies, click on your listening ears and get ready to hear a story that's sure to help us deal with any feeling that comes our way. Whenever you don't know what to do with your feelings, the best thing to listen to is a story from God's Word. Do my Builder Buddies know what God's Word is? The Bible! That's right! Long ago, God's people kept doing the wrong things and not doing what God wanted them to do. So, for seven years, God allowed their enemies to rule over them. God's people were so scared that they hid inside caves in the mountains. Can you show me how God's people looked when they were scared? Let me see you all make a scared face. You do look scared. Now, their enemies, the Midianites, were so mean and were destroying all the food that God's people planted. So finally, God's people prayed and asked God for help. On the count of three, say help, like God's people did when they prayed. One, two, three. Help! Good job, builders. Because God was with his people, he heard their prayers and sent an angel to a man named Gideon. Gideon was scared that the Midianites would come take away his food, so he was hiding as he prepared wheat. That's when the angel of the Lord appeared to him. The angel said to Gideon, Mighty warrior, the Lord is with you. Gideon did not feel very mighty. Remember, he was hiding because he was scared the enemy would come take his food. So Gideon asked the angel why God's people were having so many troubles. The angel told Gideon that the Lord would give him the strength to save Israel. But Gideon was still scared. So Gideon asked God to do something that would show that he was really going to help Gideon save the people. Gideon put a piece of wool on the ground outside his cave. Before Gideon went to sleep, he asked God to make the wool wet and the ground around it dry. If God did this, Gideon would know that God was with him, and he wouldn't be scared to do what God wanted him to do. So Gideon went to check the wool early the next morning. The ground was dry, and the wool was so wet that Gideon was able to squeeze so much water into a bowl. But Gideon was still feeling scared, so he asked God to do one more thing. He set out the wool again and asked God to make the wool dry and the ground wet. Builders, do you think God made the wool dry and the ground wet? Yes! You got it! The next morning, Gideon saw that the ground was wet and the wool was dry. Now Gideon was sure that God was with him and would give him the power to do what God wanted him to do. When Gideon was scared, God was with him. If you are feeling scared, you can pray and ask God to help you because he is with you too. Thanks for listening. Here's one of my special tools to help you remember what you heard from God's word today. When you're feeling scared, God is with you. You can use me to smash your fears away as you remember that when I'm scared, God is with me. Builder Buddies, let me hear you say this after me. When I'm scared, when I'm scared, God is, God is, with me, with me. Tractor Joy doesn't have to feel scared of the storm because God is with her. God loves Joy and he promises to always be with her and help her when she's scared. You see, Builder Buddies, when we stop, look, and listen, we will see that God is greater than our feelings and that he knows everything. Everyone stand up and let's sing a song about that now. I can't stop and think about what I feel. I can look for help and see if what I feel is real. I can listen 
to hear what God has got to say. Then I can move along and have a good day. God is greater, greater, greater than our feelings, and He knows, He knows everything. God is greater, greater, greater than our feelings, and He knows, He knows everything. God knows everything. I can stop and think about what I feel. I can look for help and see if what I feel is real. I can listen to hear what God has got to say. Then I can move along and have a good day. God is greater, greater, greater than our feelings, and He knows, He knows everything. God is greater. Greater than our feelings And He knows He knows Everything God knows everything I can stop And think about what I feel I can look for help and see If what I feel is real I can listen To hear What God has got to say Then I can move along And have a good day then I can move along and have a good day. You sounded great! Now it's your turn to help a friend like you. You did it! And the next time you're feeling scared, just remember that God is with you. I hope you'll come back next week, but until then, check out this project designed just for you and your family to work on at your home construction site. Have a handy dandy day! Okay, so let's start making our shaker. So. As I said, you can put whatever you want in there. Just remember that you don't want to fill it up too much because if you fill it up too much, the things that you put in there won't actually be able to move around and you won't be able to make a noise. So Jacob's put some paper clips in there. He's put some buttons and some little eyes. Some of these really nice colorful bits of paper as well. So that'll look really great from the inside. So once you've put all of your bits and pieces in there, pop your lid on so that they don't fall out. I think once you put the lid on, yeah, you need to test it, make sure that it shakes. That sounds pretty good. And then we need to decorate the outside of it. So we're going to use stickers to decorate the outside of it. Did you have a thought of what sticker you wanted to use, Jacob? Of course, the dinosaur ones. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Nice. A nice red dinosaur sticker right on top. <laughs> What else are you going to use? Some more dinosaur things. What does that sticker say? Roar. Of course it does, because dinosaurs roar, don't they? I think we should put some butterflies on as well. Dinosaurs and butterflies. <laughs> Perfect combo. They go together fantastically. <laughs> How's it looking? Great. So we've got some decorations on the outside of our container. Make sure that the lid's on nice and tight. This is a good container because it, the lid's not going to come off. So test it out, Jacob, and see whether it works. <gasps> it works! <laughs> so if you're ever feeling scared or worried that you're not doing something perfect, you can get your shaker and shake those feelings away. And remember that God's with you and he only wants your best. Nice job, Jacob. Good job, Joanne. Good shaker. It's been great having you kids in church today. Before we go, let's pray together. Jesus, thank you for loving us when we're scared or worried about being perfect. We know that you're with us and you're ready to help. We love you. Amen. Thanks for joining us for Gateway Kids. See you next week. Bye. <laughs>